All right, to get started, we're going to talk about color theory um, and the color wheel. So on my right over here, I've got my color wheel already set up. And um, first, we're going to talk about primary colors. So these are colors that we all know that are um, our reds, our yellows, and our blues. So those colors make up our primary colors. Um, those colors, uh, when combined um, in sets, make our secondary colors. So red and yellow, or red and yellow make orange. Yellow and blue make green, and blue and red make purple. So those are combinations of our primary colors. So our primary colors are the ones that um, you can use those to make any color you want. Um, they're, they're great uh, to make brown too. If you combine all of your primary colors, you're gonna make brown. Another way to make brown is also to add two complementary colors together because your complementary colors are opposite on your color wheel. You have red and green, and if you remember, green and uh, is a combination of blue and yellow. So together, those would make brown as well. So our three sets of complementary colors are red and green, orange and blue, and yellow and purple. So they're absolutely opposite on the color wheel. Another thing to think about when we're looking at our color wheel are warm and cool colors. So not only are they opposite, but they're actually right next to each other along the color wheel. So we have our warm colors that are red, orange, and yellow. We have them over here. And then we have our cool colors that are green, blue, and purple. And those on the opposite side of the color wheel. So this is our basic color wheel. Um, and things to think about, especially when we're water coloring, is um, we don't want to mix our complementary colors together or put all three primary colors together. So that way we're gonna, we don't want to make brown. So it's a, um, because it's a water-based um, medium, we don't want to mix um, all those colors together. So I'll show you some ways not to do that. Um, so for some of the advanced students, um, to get more in depth in color theory, if you're interested, um, there's a few things you can look up, and I'm going to actually add a link to um, to a video that shows these a little more in depth. But things like hue and saturation, and tint and value um, are important with color theory, as well as opacity and transparency. So um, I might use some of those terms. Um, in our in our uh, lesson, but uh, there is a video that we're going to post that shows um, a little bit more in depth um, about those. So, all right, um, thanks, and we're going to move on.